Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be going over my favorite spots to farm crystals in Chained Echoes. And with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? I highly recommend just playing the game and fusing size 3 as filler until you unlock the airship, which has one of the best farming spots. If you need some help on combining crystals, then I'll have my guide on the cards on the upper right and in the description. When you get the airship, you'll want to come to this location on the map and follow the path I take. I already timed the routes you can take and this one's the fastest. There's 10 nodes to hit in total. You may notice that I'm getting 3 crystals per hit and they're all yellow. That is not a coincidence at all. I'll go over how that's made possible, but after we're done here you'll want to leave to go to the Fiora Woods, if you have this teleporter. If not, you'll need to beat 2 Forest Worm, which can be quite difficult if you just unlock the airship. For now, just go to the Isle of Messages every 30 in-game minutes, as that's how long it takes for the nodes to respawn. Now if you have the teleporter unlocked, then follow the path I take for 6 nodes. Next, you'll want to go to Shambhala and follow where I go for another 4 nodes. And lastly, once you have access to Orgain Grottos, follow the path I take for another 5 nodes. These are all the spots I visit every 30 minutes to farm my crystals. Now how is I getting 3 crystals per node? Once you get your clan to rank 2 and you advance to Act 3 in the story, come to Shabala and talk to this NPC here. I already talked to them, but they'll be here on this farming route. And how am I getting so many yellow crystals? That's because in Act 4 you could talk to this lady in Cortara Mountain Range to choose which crystals you get when hitting a node. It won't be available on your menu, but at the clan base. Go inside this house and talk to her. Hopefully this video will help in farming crystals more efficiently, and if I missed any amazing farming locations, then please leave them down in the comments below to help the community out. And don't forget, if this video brought value to you, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more as I play a wide array of RPG games and I break them down just like this. Until the next video, I'll see ya!